to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. Uh, today I want to cover this little steering wheel adapter that I made. Now this is for one of my neighbours, um, a gentleman that he works with, um, owns a Nissan R33, I believe, drift car. So they've spent, spent quite a bit of money obtaining this uh, quick release steering mechanism for their car. But unfortunately, he needed a way um, of adapting this piece here to the black piece that, mo that mounts to the steering wheel shaft. So using CAD here today, I've um, come up with this design for him. And uh, before I actually made it, I 3D printed it for proof of concept. And I'll just do a little play black here. It wasn't that difficult. It's just a sketch revolve and uh, a couple of circular patterns to complete it. Now, one thing I was a little bit mindful of, and I did warn the customer this, I said that to get these counter bores here where it bolts onto the main steering wheel uh, boss, you could say, um, I said, look, it could encroach on the design. And in showing him that, he was... He understood, you can see it there in the photo, but unfortunately, you know, to, to meet that outside diameter here, um, you know, I had to keep it that size or I couldn't taper that. You'll notice the inside wall is tapered to mount that detachable steering wheel. So let's have a look at this and I'll just show you some cam. We'll pop over into the cam here. And there's quite a few operations in here uh, with the start of it just in here, if I just simulate that for you, then it will drop over to the machine. I went in basically with my big 50 mil shell mill and just faced that, and then went around the outside. Now I chose a 3D adaptive for this tool part because I wanted to 3D adaptive that wall, uh, that tapered wall. I'll skip through this just rather quickly so I don't bore you. And this one in here you can see, well actually if I take you back one actually, and come up here, you can see where I'm coming into that wall to do that step up like that, that 3D adaptive, uh, 2D outside contour to get that outside diameter there. Then I drop down the bottom and do an ID contour. Did all the cap head bolt preparing here, then contoured that out, spot drilled all the holes, spot drilled all the cap head holes. Then I jumped in with a 6mm bore nose end mill, and I just did a tapered contour here, a 3D contour, and uh, it worked rather well. I was quite happy with the surface finish on that as well. So popping in with my drill bit, you'll notice here that I've got two tool fives, so unfortunately I had to stop the program at that stage and uh, wait a little bit. You're just seeing here my fusion is hanging while it populates the rest of that simulation for that 3D contour. All right, so here we off here, we're drilling five mil. And unfortunately, after I finished this drill cycle, I did have to stop and change the tool out because as you'll see, there's two tool fives and obviously have to run a different height offset for that drill bit. And then pop in here and and uh, rigid tap it.
Now, for the reverse side of this, if I pop over here, you'll see that I'm using some soft jaws. And I've already uh, machined the soft jaws. I won't cover that. Um, but anyway, we'll just show you what I'm doing here. So to get that, to buzz that hat off, I just ripped into it uh, with a 12mm end mill and then took to the outside with a 2D contour. Uh, did a little contour here, circular contour to clean up that boss to hit that internal diameter and then broke all the sharp edges. Now I probably could have amended this stock a little bit better than this though it didn't show it from the previous operation but it is what it is. So let's head on over to the machine. Keep in mind my old sile's an older machine and uh, but look it holds it, it holds its own okay. I don't push it too hard. It uh, it's got to see me out a few more years yet. All right, let's go on over now and do some CNC machining. Righto, so that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I was quite happy with the way the part turned out and uh, the customer was also over the moon with it. Again, we've got another photo here to show you. Uh, they were quite happy. I believe the customer is going to send this away for anodizing. Um, I didn't have time to anodize it or you know to outsource it to get it done. All right, thanks for following along, guys, and catch you on the next video. Bye for now.